This was here just came out and nobody is talking about it. And the best part is that it is a lot better than deep sea OCR, which is one of the most viral OCRs at this particular point. So in this video, we're going to learn about Chandra. This is a new OCR model. It's not as permissive as deep seek in terms of the open weights license, but from my testing, it seems really, really good. And I'm going to show you some demo. So this new model comes from a company called data lab, and you might be familiar with some of their earlier works. And this model can output Markdown, it can output HTML and it can output JSON. And this is especially highly accurate at extracting text from both images and PDFs. It can also preserve the layout information. I'm going to show you what does it mean. So you can play with the model. It is available on their lab play. Also, you can use it with their API. The main features of this model is it has got a really, really good handwriting support. A few years back, if you remember OCR models, like let's say Tesseract from Google, those were primarily used to extract text that are scanned, but are printed text like from PDFs and other items. So OCRs have historically struggled a lot with handwritten notes, for example, like medical, so medical prescription. These models, the models that we are getting these days, whether it is deep seek OCR, whether it is Chandra OCR, or even the vision language models are doing a pretty good job with handwriting. But I feel this model has done a much better job with mathematical equations and also handwritings that are not very clear, not very legible for human eyes. It is also good with tables, math equations and complex layouts. It also can extract images separately. And another big problem with OCR is that generally OCR models ignore the images and that creates a huge mess when you're trying to digitize documents. And in this case, this model can extract images and keep it as it is like not disturbed at all. And that is good. And this model also supports more than English. It supports 40 languages, including Indian languages like Hindi, Japanese language, Southeast Asian languages, European languages, and a lot of other languages easily get started with their VLLM. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the demo here on uh, their platform. And then we're going to come back and then see the benchmarks about how the model compares with other leading OCR models. So this is one of the most viral tweets I saw recently. This is the tweet. The tweet says deep seek OCR is the best OCR ever. And uh, this is from a very popular viral profile invested. It uses deep seek OCR to extract text from Srinivas Ramanujan, who is a very popular mathematician from India, wrote a letter to GH Hardy in 1913. And if you see this, uh, I mean, obviously, like when somebody shares a picture like this, immediately you would notice that, wow, deep sea OCR is the best OCR. This is quite amazing. But now when you closely inspect it, then you would notice that, uh, for example, a very simple thing that I immediately noticed is I understand that this is log N, but you can see here, this is completely changing the way, the way the equation looks here. So you can see here, there is like three by four N and it is not like writing any of those things. It, it didn't manage to find any of those things, but still like I, I love deep sea OCR. My most recent video is about deep sea OCR. So deep sea OCR is something that I truly respect. Their license is amazing everything, but let's see how this particular model Chandra does it. So I uploaded the same document right now on their playground. You can use only PDF. I don't know. It's a strange move. Maybe they don't want abuse, but anyways, you can upload PDF and then it, this can do the job. The first thing that I wanted to notice is just went here. You can see the layout. See, you can see here the layout. So it can um, identify if you see the JSON output, you can immediately see here, there is like bounding boxes available. There are like things that you can use. So it can give you JSON, HTML and Markdown. So you have all these things. I'm going to go back to the blocks, which is like an interactive way of seeing this. So I immediately went here and then you can see that there is log N, log N to the power one by two. I'm not exactly sure if it is one by two here, but you can see that this model has done a much better job in, um, understanding what it is there. I still think that this model might, this is, I think this is three by four N um, anybody who's familiar with mathematical equations, please verify this. But I think generally, like when I see this model, the model has done a much better job than deep seek OCR. And uh, you can see here terms in the right hand side of one. So you have got like bunch of interesting information here. And even the header, you can see there is like the text There is number 26. There is Matlock Sunday. Dear Mr. Hardy, in one of my letters, I wrote about the, I wrote about the least number of terms, which will give you, uh, which will give the nearest integer, nearest integer. So you can see that the model has done a pretty good job. This kind of document, which is a mix of handwriting, which is not necessarily for, like the handwriting in the 2000s. I would say like it's, it's done a much better job when you compare it with the it says something like deep sea course here, massive respect for deep sea course here, but we have got a new model that is much better. That's what I wanted to say. The next thing is I uploaded one of my own um, 
stupid meeting notes and uh, the model has done a pretty good job like few things that i love the model doing is first of all it identified certain things as page headers uh, i don't think it supports arabic yet so probably didn't know what is this so it identified the page headers then you can see that five tuesday 24 rabia level which is an arabic month 1434H. Uh, so you have got like a couple of other text here, uh, different languages here. So this is my handwriting. You can see priority is not equal to urgency that is there. And it identified this one as a picture and you can see that it separately outputted the picture. I think this is a very killer feature. Honestly, um, a lot of people I spoke to when I, they want to digitize documents, convert a struct unstructured document into structured document. I think this is biggest complaint that um, the images are getting messed up and uh, not a lot of models handle it very well. So this model is perfectly good for that. 13% should be more 15 to 20. And you can see here this minutes, like whatever I've written before minutes, it's been struck and then um, it, it, it did not capture it. It did a pretty good job there. Consider only premier and priority copy of support offering the page instead, like there is an arrow, it, it perfectly identified the arrow in, instead of drop down um it's a dash or underscore like a matrix i think this is number four i don't know if it is h i i myself don't remember it i wrote it many years back matching response time for staging and or major malfunctioning systems i think the qa has been missed here only premiere in two years no selection call for 30 minutes call approximately 30 minutes time should be more than that is there Context switching. See, honestly, like if I show this to any other model, I don't think any other model would be good enough to say that this is switching context switching approximate time calls and handover. Now let's see how deep sea goes here has done with the same thing. So I've uploaded the same image PDF to deep sea goes here and it is in Gundam mode, which is like the perfect mode. And there are two tasks you can do free OCR and markdown. I've done a markdown here. So you can see here. So good thing with deep sea goes here is it also understands Arabic. So Arabic is also here. So you can see Tuesday, Rabia level 1434. Um, and you can see priority is not equal to urgency. You can see other items like that's it. It uh, could not extract any other information. And uh, you can go see here. This is all it managed to extract here from the given document. And uh, even if you see the raw output here, deep sea course here has not done a good job as much as uh, Chandra could do. Uh, I think that is exactly why I decided to make this video because it's highly underrated. Not a lot of people are talking about in terms of benchmark, if you see. So this is the Olmo OCR benchmark, which again, I'm guilty of not covering it. So this is an OCR benchmark and you can see data lab from uh, Chandra's Chandra from data lab has scored 83.1 while uh, even um, models like let's say deep seek OCR is 75. I have heard from a lot of people that they use the paid Mistral OCR API for batch processing and that has scored only 72. So this is like 11 percentage point better than Mistral OCR and the other models like um, Dots is probably I think the most underrated really good OCR model. Again, I'm guilty of not covering it yet, but even the paid models like Gemini Flash 2, other models like GPT-40, all these models are inferior to what Chandra by Data Lab is doing. And you can also see their own benchmark across most of these. Their model does a pretty good job. In my opinion, the model is very good for a 9 billion parameter model. So the only catch here is the model comes with a slightly not so permissive open license. It's called open rail. I'm not a lawyer, but from my understanding, you can use it for commercial purpose. But I would strongly encourage you to check with the team before you do anything like that. But for now, this is a great model. The model has got great understanding and uh, the model can be extremely, extremely helpful. If you're doing a bulk batch OCR, um, for example, you have got like hundreds and thousands of documents and you want to digitize them or you have scanned them and then you want to convert into structured documents, LLM friendly. I think this is probably one of the easiest models that you can go to and then rely on their output. Let me know if you think there is another OCR model that is really, really good with you. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.